No on-leash greetings. Instead of me rambling about on-leash greetings, <laughs> I always resort back to the blog post I wrote fucking forever ago. Yeah, like eight years ago at this point. It was probably almost nine years ago. Woo. Because I uploaded it to the Miracle page over six years ago. Yeah. And I wrote it long before that. Yeah, on your WordPress. It was on my WordPress. <laughs> okay. This is entitled, Why On Leash Greetings with Other Dogs Can Be One of the Single Biggest Mistakes You Make With Your Dog. Ooh. Let me read that again. Why On Leash Greetings with Other Dogs Can Be One of the Single Biggest Mistakes You Make With Your, your dog. dog. Okay? You. This is written by yours truly. <laughs> <clears throat> on leash greetings with people and dogs are the number one cause of behavioral issues on the walk. They cause reactivity, condition excitement, and put dogs in immensely uncomfortable situations. Let's break this down. First and foremost, the number one reason why we discourage on leash greetings is due to the unnecessary social pressure that it creates for the dog. In ideal social situations between dogs and dogs, or dogs and people, the dog is free to roam. If they get stressed out due to another dog or person, they could get up and walk away, giving them space and reducing the social pressure. Mm. Being on a leash is very restricting to most dogs. They are stuck within a four to six foot radius of you at all times and are very aware of it. This puts them in an innate position to tap into their fight or flight responses. Since they do not have the ability to flee, we see them find alternative ways to deal with the stress. You will see this in two major forms. The first and most common is in leash reactivity. Your dog will quickly begin to realize that barking, growling, or lunging makes other dogs or people go away before they have a chance to approach. The other major sign that we see is your dog aggressing on the dog or person trying to make them go away. Mm. Now, let's take the example of a dog that is not nervous or fearful, but overly playful and social as can be. There are a few major reasons why we still discourage on-leash greetings, even with these dogs. The big thing we want to avoid with a social dog by eliminating on-leash greetings is conditioned excitement. Classical conditioning is a beautiful thing, except when we are accidentally creating responses to things that we don't want our dog responding to. By allowing your dog to say hi to every dog or person they see on the walk, we are essentially telling them, get excited every time you see a dog. This shows itself in pulling, barking, and other unwanted behaviors, making it difficult for you to keep your dog under control. Keep in mind that these issues can go from 0 to 60 very quickly and turn from playful energy to aggressive and dangerous behavior through continuous rehearsal. The last reason is more of a precaution than we take than anything. We don't know the other dog. You could have the most social dog in the world, but if your social dog says hi to another dog that doesn't like it or isn't quite as social as the owner may say, you could wind up with your dog being attacked, and that in itself will cause a whole other slew of unwanted side effects. You may not be concerned about this for a number of reasons, but the reality is that I see dogs every single day who have been attacked by another dog on the walk. It just isn't worth taking the chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like there's nothing more to say about yeah, it. No on don't leash do it. no on leash greetings. No. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Bad on leash. Bad greetings. on leash greetings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah, don't do them, don't right? Do like it. honestly, somebody made a post about this the other day where they just said if people stop I, I wish I could remember who said this. If people would just stop letting their dogs or letting people pet their dog when on leash yeah. or let dogs say hi to their dog on leash so many problems would just go away they would just go yeah. away so just don't do it don't do it don't and then I really I, I'll tell you like I'm so empathetic towards my clients and I care about them and I understand people make mistakes but I'm also so sick of people telling me that they had an issue with their dog because they just couldn't stop doing on leash greetings <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or people that say like, well, I can't stop the other people. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. Hold up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like honestly, like I have been training dogs for a long fucking time. Yeah. I take dogs. I have been in more busy social situations with dogs than most people will 
ever experience in their lifetime. Yeah. Right? Probably 5x or more what most people will ever see in their lifetime. For and sure. I've still never, ever run into a situation where I've not been able to stop another dog from coming up to my dog. Yeah. Or stop another person from coming up and petting my dog. It's mm-hmm. literally just never happened. Yeah. So I don't want to hear the, well, I can't control what other people do. Yes, you can. Yeah. You're just too shy or nervous or uncomfortable telling people no, which unfortunately is a you problem you need to get over. Yeah. So that's my hint of fucking tough love for everybody out there. Right? Yeah. 